before we get started, we probably want to know exactly what feminism is. So, here's the definition. Now, that's a bit of a sarcastic definition, but honestly, it's true. Many people believe that it's a radical thing to have feminism. Many people, because they don't know what feminism is, think that they're just a bunch of radical women that hate men. And that's not it at all. We really just want equality for all people, every shape and size and gender. It is no secret that women have been subject to oppression and harassment. It is crucial to learn this so that history does not repeat itself. Women are subject to oppression because society has been so embedded in a culture that has oppressed women for centuries. Humans are habit-oriented beings, and to break down a habit that has been implanted in our culture for centuries will be extremely difficult to accomplish. It is important to understand this in order to be able to eventually break down oppression all there is an excellent documentary called feminist what were they thinking on netflix starring many famous feminists this documentary gives a great explanation on why they fought for change and why it is important to be an advocate for women this film showed these influential women speaking of their stories that made them become avid feminists it also gives a rationalization on why feminism is important and so desperately needed. Here's a sneak peek of the film. It is difficult to identify as a feminist because it's so stigmatized in our communities. Jane Fonda, who is one of the main activists in the film, talks about when she was little and how she was always the hero of her own story. And this isn't really a feminine trait. So, she would always see herself as Joan of Arc or the Lone Ranger. And she was told when she was little to always be a good girl and to be basically be quiet and sit in the back. And that isn't to be Joan of Arc or the Lone Ranger that is seen as a masculine trait. So she felt that she needed to be an activist from a young age because she wanted to be the hero for her own story. Most girls were feisty when we're young. But you have to be a good girl. Well, all your life, you know, people are saying, be a good girl. Well, that implies that you're not. Then goes on to explain that little girls lose that feisty trait because society corrupts them into believing that they should be a good girl and they should be quiet and not be the hero. This documentary gives a great explanation on why feminism is so crucial to our society and it gives a great understanding on why they did what they did. And it would be extremely beneficial for many people to watch this and actually have a true understanding on what feminism is and what it's trying to accomplish. Since the beginning of time, women have been treated as the weaker sex, physically and mentally. St. Thomas Aquinas referred to women as the incomplete man and an incidental being. Even Aristotle believed the female is female by virtue of a certain lack of qualities, and we should regard women's nature as suffering from natural defectiveness. Marilyn Frey, who is the author of Oppression, which is an excerpt, in The Politics of Reality, Essays in Feminist Theory, gives many points as to why women are oppressed and how, in most battles, they cannot win because of the society that was built against women. Frey discusses, If we are found insensitive, we may fear we have no redeeming traits at all and perhaps are not real women. Thus, we are silenced before we begin. The name of our situation drained of meaning and our guilt mechanisms tripped. That all may seem like doom and gloom, but it is important to study women because society needs to understand what women endure in order to overcome women's oppression. Sonia Renee Taylor discusses in her TED Talk about how we can use our bodies to change our future for the better, not just for women, but for all. Remember, feminism is equality. As we learn to make peace with our bodies and make peace with other people's bodies, we create an opening for creating a more just and equitable world. 
To conclude, we must understand that as women, we live with these hardships and judgments that are labeled onto us just because we are female and we have a job. That job is to make our voices be heard. We have all gone through one judgment or another, but what good will come from us being silent about it? If we remain silent, we remain oppressed. Our difference from men is not what immobilizes us. It is our silence against those who doubt us that keeps us immobile.